control of the orcish hordes for yourself. <coughs> Blackhand has become foolish in the deployment of his personal troops and has left an opening that you can now exploit. A key outpost in the Black Morass is the core of Blackhand's supply lines, not only to his foremost battle groups, but to his castle at Black Rock Spire as well. The complete destruction of this outpost will disrupt his power base long enough for you to secure his overthrow. Yes, this is why we know for a fact that the character you play as as the strategist in this game is actually Doomhammer himself. Because after this game, Doomhammer Siege controlled the Orcish Hordes for himself completely and utterly without mercy. And this is also going to be an unusual orc versus orc battle right now. Uh, there's at least one human versus human and one orc versus orc uh, mission in both in one of the campaigns. <clears throat> and apparently, uh, it was actually a huge surprise for a lot of people because up until this point, no one actually ever thought of trying to do that in a real-time strategy game before. <clears throat> so this is my yeah this is my uh, one mission then that involves Black Rock Spire for Orc side. You know this doesn't directly involve it; it involves its protection, which is how the humans were able to actually take Black Rock Spire so easily, is because I created this huge opening. And allow the humans to walk right in, which is why the humans don't officially win this game because their one actual win in the entire game is literally part of a stratagem by the new war chief that took over the instant that they crushed Black Rock Spire and left Doomhammer as the new war chief and allowed him to then re reverse engineer the entire battle and bring out his own secret army to just swipe away Stormwind Keep and completely destroy it. So that's what we're trying to attempt to do here today. <clears throat> How to overthrow a weakening government. What do you buy? Doomhammer. Nothing brings the doom out of you like Doomhammer. Now available with Orgrim, whatever that is. I have forced my hand yet again. <clears throat> yet again, this game continues to cheat. I just pray that I can actually get to endgame without this kind of bullshit, but at this point, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I really am kind of finding it difficult to enjoy myself when it keeps trying to pull this shit every single time. Because there's always no winning this. I cannot win this game without cheating. And that's kind of really killing my mood, especially when I'm this sick and I'm really not up for bullshit right now. This is really killing every kind of bit of fun I was actually fucking having with this. God Fucking damn it, you fuckers! Can't you stop fucking walking into their fireballs? You useless pieces of shit! Jesus H fucking Christ, you cheating piece of goddamn crap! Just move. You lying piece of crap. Being attacked. No shit, Sherlock. Cheat, I'll cheat all that to fuck you too. Uh. 
you lying piece of crap. Stop with the bullshit. Jesus H. Fucking Christ. I'm so sick of this crap right now. So, yep, since it's officially annoyed me, I'm throwing every cheat at it. Iron Newt, Iron Forge, there can be only one. And if you can tell by the map, I also added in Sally Shears. Look at that bullshit. How are you supposed to get through this without literally cheating?
think my usual units are badass. Wait till you see these guys in action. takes half their hit points, but also renders them immune to any attack whatsoever. what you get for cheating. Anyway, we'll see how the next couple episodes go. It's not like there's that much of the series left, even if I have to cheat the rest of the way. I'm too sick to care. Uh, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Gaze upon the destruction you have wrought, and the broken bodies of your enemies. <laughs>